Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Everyone's hoping for good weather all the time. I know, especially <laughs> after the summer we had, we deserve it and we are going to get it. Yes. Finally, our prayers. Finally. Are, whoever you pray to is going to be answered <laughs> finally. <laughs> Matt's answering that wish. Yes, we are, and it's going to be beautiful. We're so excited to give this forecast. Today was an interesting day as we were talking about. We had that wildfire smoke uh, kind of hanging around the area. We also had the clouds, especially around the Champlain Valley and points onto the south. Notice the cutoff line is right between Burlington and Plattsburgh, between sun to the north and clouds to the south. Maybe a few sprinkles falling in the ground around Esport into Addison and Bristol, but a lot of this is not reaching the ground that you see on radar. It probably is reaching the ground down in Bennington and Wyndham counties. A couple of downpours coming up through Bennington, Brattleboro and Wilmington right now. They won't make it much farther north for the rest of the evening. Now you also notice that haze out there. If you were looking toward the Green Mountains or the Adirondacks, yes, that was more wildfire smoke. I know not, not what many of you want to hear. The good news, it wasn't really impacting air quality all that much. Some pockets of moderate air quality and it is expected to sort of trickle down as we go into Monday, so it will still be there in trace amounts on Monday. You still notice a little bit of haze tomorrow, but then by Tuesday we get a nice clean sweep right in from the northeast brings in a cleaner air mass from Maritime Canada. So you could expect nice cobalt, crystal clear blue skies by the time we get to Tuesday. And overall, we'll have more blue sky as we go into Monday. It'll take a little longer to get there, especially down in Bennington and Wyndham counties. By 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, you're still hanging out in those clouds. For the rest of us, we've got mostly sunny skies. And notice by lunchtime, even down in southern Vermont, you get into a little bit of that sunshine. But I do want to point something out. Guidance has been very consistent on developing a few showers in Addison County and Vermont and also parts of Essex County in New York sometime tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours. So don't be surprised to see a few wet roads in places like Middlebury, Scroon Lake, Ticonderoga, even Mariah and Crown Point. But it would be very brief if you do get a rain shower tomorrow. 95% of us are dry and everybody is dry on Tuesday. Again, that maritime Canada air mass coming in, sweeping out the smoke to the southwest and we've got lots of sunshine on the way for Tuesday. Still could be some high clouds lingering, especially the farther south and west you are, and all this dry weather and beautiful sunny weather continues into Wednesday and beyond. So far in the Burlington area, we've had five days of no measurable rain. We still have 10 more in the forecast. We've been looking at some of the data this uh, this evening. The last time we had a previous stretch this long, 15 days or longer of no rainfall, was back in September of 2017. So it's basically been six years since we've had a dry stretch this long. So if we can squeak out 15 days, we're getting into pretty rare territory at this point. It's certainly well deserved and tomorrow will be well deserved too. 69 in Keysville, 71 Champlain, 67 Tupper Lake. It not as cool as today, certainly a beautiful day out there. Plenty of sun again, still a chance of a stray shower down, especially in central Vermont. But most of us are dry with 70s and 60s on the map. there. partly sunny skies. Clouds in the morning in southern Vermont will fade to sunshine, so a little bit of a slower start down in places like Bennington and Brattleboro, but lots of sun on the five day forecast. Nothing but sunshine. In fact, as we carry through the week and into next weekend, and it'll be warming up a little bit too as we kick off the month of October next Sunday, it'll be feeling more like the end of August.